good morning welcome back thanks for joining us again and as always just remember if you haven't subscribed and you like these videos remember to hit that subscribe button and if you want to see more of uh, extra footage behind the scenes footage and uh, get some insider information remember to check out our patreon video now speaking of patreon i want to give a big shout out to some of our new patrons so we've got david and ruth dolman paul and linda caldwell and susan sisk they're our new patreons Thanks guys, it's great to have your support, it really is much appreciated, and it's great to have you along. Anyway, let's crack on. So we've been in Berska now for uh, probably a week or so, uh, and I haven't done much filming up to now because it's just been complete hectic. We've been getting jobs done, we've sold the van uh, and some other bits and pieces, and we've been doing lots of other jobs that we needed to get here and I just didn't have the time to film it or didn't want to film some of the private stuff that was going on so yeah uh, we haven't done that but today uh, I've got some parcels come in need to get some more work done um, we've got our friend Hillary to come in today um, so it's another busy busy day but uh, yeah we're gonna vlog this today uh, and the rest of the stuff that we've got to do I'm just waiting because we've got the fuel boat coming today um, getting quite low on fuel so uh, luckily the fuel boats turning up today it's a bit windy today though uh, and it should be coming around that bend up there anytime soon but this is a fuel boat with a difference not many people will have seen a fuel boat like this so uh, I'm going back inside to have a brew while I'm waiting so uh, I'll see you when he gets here. Oh, well, we're still waiting for the fuel boat to arrive. We got told he would be uh, coming through here a bit earlier than, uh, than we are now, but it is what it is. He's probably been uh, caught up delivering fuel. So uh, we're still waiting. So in the meantime, going to nip over to uh, Malcolm's boat and uh, go for a brew, have a chat. And um, he's also in the middle of uh, making some stock because Malcolm's going to be selling some things that he makes. Now, uh, he's into his sewing as well. So I believe he's got his sewing machine out and he's making quilted cushion covers. So uh, let's go and have a look what, uh, what's going on inside. Right, so here we are, we're inside Westmoreland and somewhere down at the end is Malcolm. Now Malcolm is my mentor for doing all things sewing. He is the man at work. Now Malcolm is doing something else that's going to be sold this year and that is quilted cushion covers. Right. And these are absolutely fantastic. So come on, Malk, show these lovely people what you've got to offer. I just finished one and I'm just about to start another one. Hang on, I'll show you the one I've just finished, which is, I think, is quite a smart one. Now, well, these are the two, that's, that's the one I've just finished. Let's move out that light. Yeah, I'm liking that. Yeah, that's pretty damn good, isn't it? That's nice. Yeah, that's one I've just finished and just about to start another one. Oh, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> we right. have if you're not just dragging all your <laughs> Get it right, red blocks everywhere. So it's a piece of that and a piece of that and a piece of that. And then we'll put, I don't know, what do you reckon? Piece of that in there. And piece of that there and yeah oh, we'll have a piece of that as well and piece of that in there and a piece of that in there so he's making this look easy but he spent most of the morning I mean it is now 
about 20 to 5 and he spent most of the day just cutting all them blocks up out of all this huge here. pieces of material and it's all cut into squares so it's ready to just to place out okay and that's going to be your your next one and the other bit i've been doing today as well making these things ah some piping for the so, edges yeah this is which is this is the bit that goes around there to make it really smart looking yep yeah and these fit a Eight. 18 inch 45 centimeter cushion okay and there you go and so now just, you know what's going to be uh, it's just an envelope that the um that the cushion fits in cool okay so now you know what's going to be available this year well if i get my finger out <laughs> yeah come on instead get of, stitching instead of sitting here uh making you coffee and things yeah lou says put kettle on <laughs> okay we'll do that so we're all making a mad dash for it because the fuel boat's arrived and here's the fuel boat So that was a bit expensive. We used a bit more fuel than I thought I had. But uh, just been speaking to the guys now and uh, they said we can go on, on board and uh, go and do a bit of filming round inside. So uh, happy days, come on, let's go and have a look. after a new job I think I think he's found his vocation he's now working off your boat right so you're probably wondering where I am well as you may or may not know we uh, make a lot of uh, artwork out of horseshoes so I'm here to restock the boat so that when we move off on our way down to Oxford the boat's as full as it can be with raw materials so we can make all the artwork. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing now. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of horseshoes in stock. What have you got there, Gara? some stock some nice rusty horseshoes that make some lovely shiny horseshoe artwork can look lovely when it's on sale trust me 
If you came and uh, visited the store last year, you'd notice that we were selling a lot of glass jewellery and um, other glass uh, tea lights and things like that. Well, our friend Lise makes those and we're here because she's making some stock for us for this year. So um, if you haven't already seen it, we thought it'd be nice to see how she actually makes it. And uh, you guys can see what's going to be available when we get to your neck of the woods. So uh, come on, let's go and have a look. Right, so the tea lights start out like this. Um, now this has already been cut down to size, it would have been a much bigger piece of glass than this. But Lisa's cut all these down ready, prepped. And then the next stage is to put some screen printing on. And if you have a look, these are already prepped and these have been screen printed. Now these already look good. But the next stage is where the magic starts to happen. So all these now are all the different colours of glass and then we add them like this And then once she's finished putting all the bits of glass on, they start to look like that. These are all queued up, ready to go into the kiln and get fired. Which is the next part. Now I believe she's already got some in the kiln waiting to come out, so uh, let's go and take a look at what they look like. What's your thing? And when they're all done and dusted, this is how they look. Right, so we're back at the boat. That was a, a really productive day. And as you can see, We've got a lot of stock. Uh, the horseshoes aren't in them two green crates. They're a different set of two crates. Don't worry, I have not put horseshoes on my couch. Lou would kill me. Yes, I would. <laughs> What's that, Lou? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Uh, but as you can see, we've got lots of materials, lots of stock, and this isn't all of it. We've got more. We've got leather. We've got copper. We've got all sorts of stuff still to turn up and we're going to spend the next day or two trying to relocate all this somewhere within the boat. Yeah, so we do get asked quite regular, how do we get all the panels and the shells and the brackets and everything we use for our display into the boat? On top of all the stock that we're selling, on top of all the materials that we use to make everything, because everything that we sell that is made by us is literally made by us so we've got all the materials for that we stock things for other people so we stock that on the boat and we have all the tools and equipment to actually make everything that we make and we live on here with three dogs people always wonder what it is and i must be honest lady brian is a little bit of a uh, tardis so we've decided that um not sure when it's going to be but we're going to do a guided walkthrough um so you guys can see exactly what's going on inside lady brian you kind of see these snips but once we've managed to get all this put away and we're straight because we are literally right upside down at the moment um we'll record that one and we'll put it out for you guys to see so uh, stay tuned for that one right uh another day uh another day of deliveries uh, managed to get some shopping done, not filmed anything because it's just been an absolute manic day and just didn't have time to mess about filming. So, uh, yeah, the uh, the dogs aren't too happy because uh, they haven't got anywhere to sit at the moment. So uh, it's time to get it all put away. 
Yeah, What's up, lad? What's up, lad? Have you no know work set? Or is it just you found the uh, block of cheese? Not quite sure. Shut up. <laughs> Busted. Yeah, got quite a few, uh, quite a few uh, parcels in again today. Uh, just another couple, and then uh, I think we're ready for off. Now, um, one thing we need to do today is uh, get the boat prepped up um, because we've got a storm coming in and I believe according to the weather forecast that's coming in tonight and over the next couple of days we've got we're here where we are in Bursko we've got about 60 mile an hour winds forecast so we've been checking around these trees aren't really big enough to do anything and they probably would only tickle the side of the boat if they came down and there's no houses around us nearby that could have anything fly off and cause us any damage but uh we've got the um where is it there it is we've got the barbecue on the roof and we've got a few other bits and pieces that if the wind blew strong enough they would be disappearing so it's time to uh get all that off the roof make sure all the ropes are in nice and tight make sure the pins are in because unfortunately here in Burskull there's no rings we're on more in pins so we've got to make sure that the uh the pins were all double pinned but we've got to make sure that they're well and truly knocked in because I don't want to be on that side of the canal when I wake up in the morning so uh, that's the job for now right so anything that is on the roof now is either strapped down or removed so uh, we should be good for the storm to hit we've got our fenders and tyres in for stoppers crashing into the side also what I've done I don't know if you can see this we drop our solar panels so they're as low as we can get them that way they're going to be protected for the wind and what I've done as well is just got some bits of log and just chock that under the other side so that they ain't going to be flapping around and tapping on the roof of the boat all night long because there's nothing worse than when they're uh, tapping on the roof of the boat and it's keeping you up all night so hopefully wedging them under there is going to uh, stop the tippy tapping all night long so yeah I think that's as uh, good as we can get it so we'll, we'll see what gets thrown at us <laughs> 